Cenote, the holy well of the ancient Mayans. The scenery of the cenote I experienced left me in awe. The Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea of Mexico gave me rare and precious experiences that will be lasting memories. Mexico is commonly known as the Nation of the Sun. Today, I will be visiting the Sonoran Desert, a beautiful site created by the scorching sun, and go in search for tequila, the taste of passion brewed by the sun. I will now begin my exciting journey. The Sonoran Desert is the largest desert in North America. It is located in the border area of Mexico and the United States. El Pinacate and Gran Desierto, which are the Mexican part of the desert, is famous for its unique scenery of volcano craters on the desert. My first stop on my way to the desert is Puerto Peñasco, the border city. It is bordered by the state of Arizona in the United States and the Gulf of California, which is northwest of Mexico. It was once named after Hernán Cortés, the man who conquered Mexico, and was called the Sea of Cortés, or the Scarlet Sea in memory of the sadness of being conquered. However, it looks peaceful now. The beauty of traveling comes from these unexpected encounters, right? This is El Pinacate and Gran Desierto, which is part of the Sonoran Desert and was designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2013. El Pinacate has topography much like the surface of the moon. What would it look like? I feel like I'm going into outer space by car. Pinacate means a black and smelly beetle. It is where volcanic eruptions occurred some 4 million years ago to 11,000 years ago. The giant craters and volcano peaks are evidence of it. I head for El Elegante the largest crater here to see the true side of El Pinacate, the volcanic region. I run into a habitat of saguaros on my way. It's like an oasis in this dry and desolate land. Soon, I see a giant crater that used to spew hot air from its open mouth. 
Only the gray dreariness that wiped out all life a long time ago remains here. However, life broke through that blanket of bleakness over time. The saguara that are seen here and there make me realize the greatness and wonder of nature. Mother Nature created a coliseum where life and death are entangled. I hear the silent cry of El Elegante. The volcanic crater plainly shows the desires of the land. I feel like I've become a bug wandering around on a giant plate. So what if that's true? No other plate would hold anything as delicious as this. The Gran Desierto de Altar surrounds El Pinacate. This desert within the Sonoran Desert is a very dry area where sweat dries up before trickling down your forehead. There isn't a single patch of shade to hide in, which leaves you to continue walking forward. The walk takes me to a vast sand desert. This sand desert spreads out under the bright sun. The desert during the day is like an hourglass. Unlike the clocks of civilization with loud minute and second hands ticking loudly, this one is silent. The silent shadows drawn by the sun are the hands on this clock. I escape a village full of people for a change and enjoy the quietness of primitive nature. sand desert changes its appearance once again. It is the work of the wind. The wind uses the sand dunes as a canvas, drawing on it and wiping it out repeatedly. on the fine sand barefoot. I leave my footprints on the work of the wind as if I were the artist.
The area is turning scarlet before I know it. Is it because the sun is shining as brightly as it can, knowing that it is time to bid farewell? The desert is more blinding at sunset. A place where traces can't be left forever. Life could be like these grains of sand, flowing and fading away, rather than accumulating. Here, I become the shadow of a tree that indicates the end of a day. Crece en mi cuerpo un árbol. Con sus raíces hacia arriba, Con sus hojas hacia abajo. Se seca mi sangre por su aroma. Se adelgaza mi cuerpo por sus hojas. En cuanto me muera, al fin mostraría Lo que he sido falso, con su máxima aroma y con su máxima dulzura. The sun that was shining intensely on the vast desert gives the people here tequila as a gift. I am heading toward Guadalajara to taste the drink of passion. Guadalajara, a city in the Midwestern part of Mexico, is a beautiful colonial city. This place called the Pearl of the West is the most Mexican city. Yeah, Guadalajara in Mexico is a two-bunch of country. Mexico's traditional and cultural is rich in its own culture. Especially the Yongslan or the tequila drink is a national drink. Here, the local products are produced in Jalisco province, also Guadalajara. Traces of the eventful history of Mexico can be found throughout the city. This city was also the stage of Mexican independence movements. It is a place where the spirit of Mexico is alive and breathing. However, what lured me to Guadalajara was tequila. The village is located 1,200 meters above sea level in a volcanic region where blue agave, the main ingredient of tequila, is produced. Tequila is liquor made with agave, which is grown in this area. The 
Tequila is the name of a liquor and the name of this village. Uh, this is the village that gave birth to tequila. Tequila means a village that cuts something. The name was derived from the Nahuatl language, the language of natives in this area. The something would be agave in this case. So tequila means the village that cuts much agave. As tequila, the liquor, became popular, the small village became a global tourist site. There is a huge mural at City Hall in tequila. The mural explains the origin of tequila. Uh, Tequila-themed tours start from the agave farm that is spread out in many parts of the village. The agave that grew energetically in the desolate land is a fruit of the scorching sun and dry land. Agave is popularly known as a Mexican cactus. Mexico is the home of agave and it is a perennial plant. The Korean name for the plant is dragon's tongue because the leaves with sharp thorns are shaped like a dragon's tongue. Tequila is usually made with agave that is about eight years old. Despite the development of modern farming techniques, the harvest of agave is done entirely by hand. They stick to the method used 100 years ago. Tequila is made from the stem, not the leaf, flowers, or fruit. So you have to cut the sharp leaves by hand, one by one. Hola. Hola, señor. ¿Qué tal? Mucho gusto. Igualmente. A servirle. Sí. Francisco, sí. servidor. Uh, su servidor. Sí. Le voy a preparar una bola para que lo haga aquí sí. en esta. Farmers who work with agave are called quimadores. I decide to be a quimador today. 아, 저것은 지금 우리가 생각하는 사바하고 달라서 좀, 좀 위험할 것 같은데. 그래도 한번 해보죠. 뭐. 가인 엄마 하가 고모 클래스다. 네, 네, 네. 너 소발 피해. 너 소발 피해. 너 마저 이렇게 고모 클래스다 한 거. 
My body doesn't seem to want to follow orders. The Himador who was watching me work clumsily helps me finish it off. The tool called a koa, used to harvest agave, is the same as what was used long ago too. The jimadores have to be careful when using the koa that is as sharp as a knife. The calluses on his hands are evidence of his hard work. The stem, shaped like a large pineapple, remains when the leaves of the agave are cut off. Sap, much like honey, is stored in the center of the stem. However, ripe agave gives off a red color like this and is already sweet. あ、よくそのまま、あ、パチョルは結構ですね。あ、よくそのピーナ、え、食材인데요。ピーナ라는 it's fresh tequila produced from nature. It's tequila produced from nature. Each person digs up 100 agaves daily at this farm. It looks tough to work under the hot sun. I sing a song for the exhausted farmers. The sun gets too strong in the afternoon, so they only work until noon. They all gather together for a meal after work. I join them for lunch. 
Las gaviotas vienen de lejos, cruzando mares, buscando amor. Dale, 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 dale. On the menu is tacos. It's traditional Mexican food made by wrapping different meat and sauces in tortilla. It tastes even better after a day of sweating and hard work. I wrote a poem for these people I spent the day with. La felicidad es una estación pequeña entre lo que falta y lo que sobra. Pasándose tan rápido que las gentes no pueden verla. En esta noche, los que sobran son los licores. En esta noche, las que faltan son las mujeres. Las mujeres son poetas para los hombres sin escribir los poemas. Tequila. Tan, 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 tan tequila. The harvested agave is transferred to a tequila distillery. This is a distillery that boasts a tradition of over 200 years. The agave are cut into halves or thirds, depending on the size, and go through a process of steaming in a special steamer. It is steamed for a couple of days and naturally cooled. The white agave stems slowly turn a golden brown. That's when the juice from the stem is squeezed. Es dulce. Bastante dulce, es bastante dulce. Pero ya está fermentada. No, este todavía no está fermentado, simplemente se, se pasó por el proceso de cocción. Es muy jugoso, este mm. ya es muy, muy jugoso. Así es. Ah, se mal también está ahí que. Que cool, gate, cool. Ah, y que. Yo de me gusta que. Bueno, que ya muy más y en donde. Yo que digo, Sam si palto, el que. Salmonica. This is distilled tequila. ¿Cuánto grado son? Este tiene 55% de alcohol. 55 grados. 55% de alcohol. Es muy bueno. Es fuerte. Fuego, fuego. Sí, esto es lo que se obtiene después de la segunda destilación. Mmm, qué rico, ¿eh? Es muy rico, tiene buen sabor, pero sí está muy fuerte en porcentaje de alcohol. Ah. Ah, más y más chua, ¿eh? Ah, 55 minutos. Ah. Por ejemplo, para todos en Google, ¿entendés? Ah, es muy chul, chua, ¿eh? Chul, chul, ya no me gusta. In any nation and generation, singing and dancing go hand in hand with drinking. Also, I am in Mexico. Then you can't leave this out. It's the mariachi.
멕시코 시티에서 마리아치 가리발드 광장에서 많이 보는데 사실은 여기가 바로 공고다니까 근데 우리 어, 제가 이렇게 점심 식사를 하고 있는데 마리아치들이 들어오는 거예요 그래서 뭐 제가 노래 한 곡을 신청했습니다 Esta vez a mí me toca cantar Ok, Cielito Lindo, por favor Cielito Lindo sí. Cielito Lindo <웃음> The sweet performance of the mariachi band sounds more romantic today. The mariachi band's performance brings a festive mood to the entire place. Tequila and the mariachi comfort the exhausted lives of Mexican workers. The romance they bring to people will be a lasting memory in this Asian's heart.